I look like hot garbage because um, I was just asleep until a few minutes ago and then the fire alarm started going off in our building and um, it was just a test so literally it was on long enough to wake us up and piss us off <laughs> um, and then I couldn't fall back asleep and Chris has to sleep because he works sooner than me and he fell asleep way later than me so I was like I'm just gonna go and um let you go back to sleep but then i realized um i had fallen asleep with the sleep mask that i got for my uh, birthday party and um my hair was my bangs were like mushed up crazy like ace ventura style um so then i just wet them down and brushed them really quick and uh yeah so today i'm gonna go to starbucks and just get a free drink it's not a birthday freebie it's just like you spend enough money and now you have the points to redeem a drink drink um and then i'm gonna go to uh big lots because i have ten dollars to use there and i'm gonna go to rallies and get a free brookie and if I still have enough battery left to go to Pizza Hut and get uh, free breadsticks. So I'm um, trying, to, trying to just get these all out of the way because a lot of them expire. I had, I'm going to just count it because I, even though I didn't go, I could have gone if I'd gone before today. But there's a, you get a free scoop of ice cream at Baskin Robbins. So I'm going to imagine that I had a free scoop of ice cream at Baskin Robbins. Just count that. I'm not... I'm not going to do this thing where I overdo it and try to drive 10 miles out of the way into another state to get a free scoop of ice cream. <laughs> and I can just say, well, I could have had it if I got it by today, but I can't, so I don't have it. Let me order my drink and be back. Okay, get in my drink. Double check and see if I. They're actually kind of busy today. Um, normally, if I order by the time, if I order whenever I leave my house, it's ready. waiting now um I, have, I realize i have a gift card for target um that i'm gonna use for um a charger because <laughs> chris bought me a new charger yesterday but it um yeah michaela yeah. Oh, my parents got me a $25 gift card from Target, and Chris got me a charger, because I left my charger at their house, I'm pretty sure, or it's somewhere in the car. I'm going to double check in the car, but I'm pretty sure I left it at their house. Um, but he got me a charger that isn't USB, like a regular USB cable compatible. It, it's a lightning cable, so it only plugs into the charging block that we have at the house. So... Since I have that gift card, I will just uh, go get a new one <laughs> so that I can stay out for a longer today because my phone's only charged like 37%. But I'm just still waiting on my drink now. It's cool. I'm gonna stop recording. Okay, got my drink. What I ended up ordering because, again, 100 stars gets you any hot or iced coffee. And that's not cold brew, that's not iced Americano, it's iced coffee or a hot drip coffee. So you could go in and get a tall black drip coffee, Pike Place, blah, blah, blah. Or you could be a maniac and get a Trenta iced coffee, add shots and syrup for zero dollars for a hundred stars. So I got an iced coffee with, with Breve, which is half and half, extra ice, blonde espresso, just because the last time I got extra shots in my drink, it was, uh, 
is a little warm. I got extra ice, a double a shot with vanilla instead of classic. The same number of pumps that would have come in if it were classic. And it's delicious. All iced coffee is at Starbucks is their regular coffee. Pretty much. I mean, it's it's specially formulated to be their iced coffee mix. But it comes in a bag in these little pouches. And you brew it double strength to make almost like a coffee concentrate. Because then you add ice to the actual coffee to cool it down. And um, that kind of like, you know waters it down a little bit to deconcentrate it and um then after that you add more ice to it whenever you're actually serving the drink so um the iced coffee to me isn't caffeinated enough so uh whenever i get the free ones i add a shot which is what we used to do whenever people would try to order cold brew and we were out we would suggest either doing an americano or an iced coffee with a shot of espresso. So I got iced coffee with two shots of blonde espresso. So that's more caffeine. Oh yeah. That's good. I had like $7 left on my Starbucks card, but I'm not trying to use that right now. Use my free drink. Cause who knows whenever I'll need like a real pick me up drink. So from here, I'm gonna go to Target because I checked the back of the car and still can't find my um charger so i'm gonna go to target and use my gift card and just buy like the cheapest usb iphone charger that they have and um then go to rallies for my brookie and Pizza Hut for my breadsticks. And so that'll be two free things today. And then I'm gonna count Baskin Robbins, even though I didn't go. And then um, I might go to Big Lots to use my $10, but I might save that for another day. But I don't know if all of those things are going to go into the, uh, I almost put myself in park at a stop sign. Jesus. Um, I don't know if those are all going to go into the same video though. So we'll see. I guess we'll see going on my shirt. What goes in what? I still have so many freaking videos to put together. warm out here all right I'm going to um, so basically I got this whole lab I got a little lab desk that I am going to uh, sticker five um, I'm gonna start putting stickers on it and then I got this little tray thing to organize in our bathroom a little bit better because stuff is constantly like falling off of this sink that's really narrow so I'm gonna put that like on the back of the toilet and um, put the stuff that we have on there. The total was 23 something which is nice because my gift card was for 25 so thank you mom and dad uh, for that birthday gift. You got me a lap desk and a bathroom organizer and a charger because I left mine at your house. <laughs> um, I was really glad it was only $10 for that charger because I picked this stuff up at the front of the store and then was like, uh, I hope I have enough to get all this because I don't know how much. So I was like, maybe I can, maybe I can dip into my like actual funds for these things and use the gift card for the charger or whatever. But I was able to get it all for less than 25. So that's nice. Um, my drink has been free today. Those items have technically been free today because they were with a gift card. Maybe we'll count those. We can count birthday presents as gifts. They're gifts from people who love us instead of gifts from corporate sponsors. Um, it's so fucking hot. Uh, gonna go to 
big lots. I'm gonna get breadsticks at Papa John's too. So I'm gonna order the breadsticks at Papa John's. Go to big lots. Go to rallies. Or not Papa John's. Pizza Hut. So I gotta figure out where the Pizza Hut is over here. Cause I cannot remember. And like plan my route. So I'm gonna go up to big lots, then to rallies. And then while I'm in big lots, I'll order my Pizza Hut and then pick up the Pizza Hut. Sounds like a plan, man. All right, be back. Well, I'm, I'm glad that I uh, checked Pizza Hut before I left here because uh, apparently Pizza Hut's on this road while rallies and, <coughs> rallies and big lots are on the other road. So I'm just gonna go and get my breadsticks and um, possibly just go home from there and then go to rallies and big lots another day. Because I gotta also get gas and it's getting a little late. So we'll see. So I'm using the, um, the Spotify, uh, DJ, the AI DJ thing, and so far it's like, we're gonna go with one of your favorites from Tim Curry, and it's the Rose Tint My World, uh, the like one of the finale songs for, uh, um, because there's like three or four in a row for Rocky Horror, and I was like, okay, also, I don't know whose hair that is, it is not mine or the dog's. It is white at the bottom and like blonde at the tip. It is not one of Mercy's hairs. I don't know what that was. Maybe it was one of the one of the cat's hairs from mom and dad's house. But um, and then it plays a song I've never heard of before, so I skipped that. And then it was Susan Sarandon reading the Jack and the Beanstalk story, and I'm like, my AI DJ thinks I'm a maniac. Because the middle song that I heard was, um, I honestly wasn't sure what it was. I'm sure I may have liked it in another context, but I just wanted something that felt familiar. But this AI DJ is like constantly suggesting new music, and I'm like, I don't want that. I want to listen to the same 12 songs I've been listening to for the last four months. Stop trying to suggest new songs to me. Okay. In this house, we listen to Wicked, Lizzo, The Chicks, Shania Twain, The Eagles. Uh, and then a 90s and alter 90s 2000s alternative playlist, 90s female country playlist, and a Lilith Fair playlist. That's it. That's all we listen to. That is what I listen to. If you don't have that for me, and, and the Beatles if I'm listening to music with Chris, and like some soul music if I'm listening to music with Chris. Why is it giving me Jack and the Beanstalk? I don't think I've ever listened to an audiobook on Spotify. I've listened to a podcast maybe once on Spotify. Is it looking at my Facebook and sees that I'm a baby? That I'm I'm baby? It knows and is trying to give me a storybook from Susan Sarandon and knows I'm a bisexual baby? So I'm looking at my Facebook Spotify. Stop that. Did you put that black magic on me? I I'm gonna roll this up real quick. So I went back onto Spotify after I turned off that last recording and I skipped the Jack and the Beanstalk one and then the AI DJ was like this new hot summer anthem uh th this is gonna be the new the new uh hit song of the summer, the hottest single of the summer. Uh, I have a pretty good feeling it's gonna be your summer anthem and I hear the beginning strains of Tracy Chapman's fast car and I'm like new song who new song new song and then it was like from Luke Combs here we go fast car and I was like who the fuck is Luke Combs and it's a fucking beardy country dude bro 
fucking singing fast car just a cover of fast car did i not just say i listen exclusively to my little affair playlist in 90s female country and the ai dj was like bet how about the exact opposite of that but a little bit of that it's the song it's country but it is not a female it is not the original it is not what the fuck i want i did not want to hear that <laughs> is this what getting old is are there gonna be fucking kids who are like 17 in fucking appalachia who are like oh my god this new song from luke combs slaps y'all oh it's the anthem of the summer. I just want to get in a fast car and drive anywhere. No. No, no, no. Ugh. This is why I rolled up the windows because I'm so pissed. <laughs> I want these people to think I'm crazy yelling at my phone. But I am crazy yelling at my phone. And it's been two minutes so my breadstick should be done. I'm going to go in and check. Bye. Um, I've almost just demolished this. I got my breadsticks. They are not what I expected just because um, normally they come in a box and it was a, it's normally a full order. Uh, whenever I've gotten these before, I've never gotten a free breadstick before, but this looks like it's like a half order. But I'm going to cap for these. It's really good. Cause there's no way I'm gonna eat all these by myself, but like in one go. I love their breadsticks. It's really good. Hmm. Taste test of those free breadsticks. No need to go get my brookie and go to uh, Big Lots and then get gas. I don't know what I'm going to get at Big Lots, but we'll find out. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> Big Lots was, I got stuff for free that I feel like would have been twice as much as the base price to get it at another store. I almost never go to Big Lots, um, but when they give me $10 free, that's fine. However, your subtotal has to be $10, and my subtotal was like less than nine dollars so uh first it like wouldn't scan the coupon at all i had to call the manager over and then he put in he tried to put it in and he was like oh it's because uh it's less than ten dollars so like you can't get ten dollars off of less than ten dollars so i like went and looked at the like candy and chips and they had little bags of chips for 59 cents or two for a dollar and i was like okay i'll get a bag of chips because the total was like 
949 that would have put over 10 but then it's like no actually the subtotal has to be less than that I get another bag of chips well it's two for a dollar <laughs> so it was still like like 20 cents below the threshold so I got another bag of chips so I ended up paying 60 cents for three bags of chips a glass baking pan and a cutting board so that's what I got from Big Lots for my $10 with 60 cents that I actually paid out of pocket, which I'm sure there was a way that I could have like gone back and got it to exactly $10, but I didn't care. I found exactly what I wanted. I got out of there as quickly as I could. When the girl kept making me, she made me feel bad because she was like, oh, I would love Starbucks right now. Starbucks sounds so good. And I'm just like, yeah, this was my free birthday drink. Yeah, it wasn't my free birthday drink. It was free, but it wasn't my free birthday drink. Um, so from here, <laughs> I'm going to go to rallies. <sighs> I think I might save rallies for another day and just call it here. Um, but, I, yeah, I'm going to go get gas, I guess, and call Chris and see if he wants anything and then go from there. So... I almost went ahead and went to rallies, but uh, I looked on the app and it says I have a free brookie, but then whenever I went to order it, it didn't have it as an option. So it may be like a regional thing, I don't know, but I'm not going to worry about it right now because I don't have the gas to spend idling to find out that I can't even get the thing I came there for. So gonna um not order it and just get back home but yeah that's uh that's all the birthday things for today the only things i have left are my things where i have to go over to st matthews and those have to be used i'm pretty sure by the end of the month or by like july 1st I, I ate here once, well, not here, but at a Qdoba. Um, whenever I was in college, we ate at one in Bloomington. It was my first time experiencing a uh, burrito subway, as we called it. And uh, any other time I've been in here, it's been to pick up somebody else's food. But today, I'm getting free queso and chips. I'll be honest, I'm just enjoying the air conditioning. I hope it's as cold in the mall. So I will be so much more comfy. All right. Bye 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 bye. Oh, that might be me. That was so fast. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is big. Thank you guys. Have a good day. All right. Large queso and chips. It's so free. This was like a $5 and something item for free. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna go eat in the car. I'm gonna do a quick a taste to taste. Got this size queso and this big ass bag of chips. I'm not gonna be able to finish all this. Man, I have to take it with me into the mall. That's gonna be a hassle. Get in this one, I'll dip my Auntie Anne's pretzel in. Haha, -ha, fuck them. Put everything in my fat rabbit bag. Chonky queso. I just watched Rhett and Link do a, uh, it's almost too hot to hold. Rhett and Link do a uh, queso at different restaurants taste test. And one of them, they were like, ugh, this is just nothing in here this is just nacho cheese and it was chipotle man this smells like really fragrant there's a whole lot of like seasoning and different kinds of peppers in here i've never had their queso so if i have it's been like over eight years ago pretty good mmm that bite was hotter, like temperature hot. 
It's actually a little bit of a kick to it too. Like they had a Diablo queso. I didn't know if that one would be free or not. And I didn't know if my belly would be able to handle it. You know, there's just like big hunks and chunks of peppers in here, like bell peppers. But then also like jalapenos and stuff. This is a big scoop of cheese. in some cultures they eat like spicy food when it's hot outside because it's supposed to like if it raises your body temperature then the uh, temperature around you feels cooler so on test out theory today i feel like it's hot and spicy foods it's supposed to do that and one thing my tummy's really glad that i uh finally ate something because i hadn't eaten anything yet today since like lunch at work last night at uh, like 3 or 4 a.m. I'm now 1.37. I've been awake since 11. Jesus, how have I been out this late already? Uh, that's good. I don't know if I have a bag in here. Probably have one in the back I can take because I don't know if it'll keep out in the heat. I don't know if it would be this giant soup cup of queso. This is enough for a group. Holy shit. There's so much. This is a good deal. Like, I'm gonna do a breakdown at the end of all these videos of like, like a ranking of the freebies that I got. Like there's, there's monetary cost, but there's also like value. Like, yeah, a dozen donuts might've cost more but if I don't like donuts that much and I shared the donuts Chris ate several of them so you know a soup cup of queso for a third of the price either way it's free no good shit oh, hot. Like it's not so hot that it's gonna like burn or scald my tongue to where I can't taste it but it is definitely like hot enough that it's like wow it's been a while since I had like hot food from a restaurant that was this hot which is sad Like, I'm sure it's just in a giant, like, like a giant crock pot kind of colander thing. Not a colander. That's a, that's like a strainer. You know what I'm talking about, like a cauldron. And there's like sweat on my upper lip. Made a pretty good dent in it. I'm like taking big scoops out. Oh okay. yeah. Like, I've, I've mentioned it before, y'all know me. I can, I can demolish a bag of chips. And there's still, like, this many left. There's still a lot of queso left. I thought my battery's not gonna be charged enough for me to really film as much as I want in the mall. Wow. Hello from August 13th. <laughs> it's taken me so long to get this last few videos up. Um so the last part of that video was filmed August or June 30th. It was the last day of the month. That was the Qdoba section. Uh, before that, that was all, I'm pretty sure, filmed the same day. That was, uh, I got a free drink at Starbucks just from rewards points. I got free breadsticks from Pizza Hut. I got uh, my stuff at Big Lots. I got a, a cutting board and a glass baking dish. And then at Target, I used my gift card that I got for my birthday from my parents, counting that, <laughs> and got a lap desk and uh, a bathroom organizer and uh, a phone charger that I'm st still keeping up with. It stays in the car. Uh, so, yeah, that was it for this video. That was it for all the videos. Um... As far as the like listing it out stuff like every individual video the next video that's gonna go up will be a wrap-up video so if you're someone who has watched all the other ones or if you watch them here and there thank you I I can't believe anyone would watch 30 minute videos of me driving around eating stuff and uh, getting getting stuff for free um, However, 
the next video will hopefully be the one that more people will watch <laughs> just because it's going to break everything down. I'm going to rank uh, what my favorites were. Like I was saying at the end of that Qdoba video, I'm going to go like what my favorites were, what I felt like the best value was, um, favorite items, things I'm still using. If it's something that was, you know, reusable <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that's going to be a more organized, normal type of video instead of just literally splicing together daily vlogs and check-ins and back and forth like the the fact that I posted the mall video and then posted fat rabbit and then posted this and they were each two to four weeks apart my god thank you for sticking with me uh but the wrap-up video is coming uh, I cannot believe that it's been two months since my 30th birthday. Uh, time is an enigma. So I'm going to save this and get it posted. And hopefully it won't be another month before I get the wrap-up video posted. I'm going to try to work on that this week and uh, get it up for you. And uh, work, work kind of hard on it. So, yeah. Um, I had planned to do videos in August, like filming dedicated themed videos, but I think I'm going to hold off so that I don't get burnt out and, uh, actually start filming stuff in September. Uh, I may post a compilation vlog of just clips from July and August of just random stuff, just driving around, getting Starbucks, just little, like, a catch-up video in between. But this, this will be it. This and the next one will be it for my... Uh, 13 going on 30 series so if you stuck around this long bless your heart and if you're new here and you haven't seen the older videos uh go back and watch them uh they're they're not too bad uh if you're local to kentuckiana a lot of stuff is uh, very specific to that area especially the parks uh but i'm sure there are fun free parks where you live too that you could go to for free so yeah I uh, will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <clears throat>